Working on a research vessel can be difficult. Have you ever wondered what it's like to film thousands of meters below the surface? Or what if something breaks in the middle of nowhere? We're gonna take you along to meet some of our amazing techs and engineers aboard Ocean Explorer. Welcome to On Mission, Ocean Innovators. Speaking of inventing things, let's go meet Olaf, our resident ROV pilot and tinker here aboard Ocean Explorer. Olaf here has been working on a new solution for filming in 360 for media. Can you talk a little bit more about that? An attempt to a new solution. <laughs> we have a 360 camera that's really big on the ROV, but that's too big for doing science and media together. Imagine it being from, from front to end being this big and it weighs around possibly around 60 kilos, 70 kilos, like with five cameras all together. This is our new off-the-shelf consumer-grade 360 camera. This little guy can fit anywhere, really. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your plan for it? So the plan up here is ideally to put a little, like an anglerfish, put it out on a little cylinder, like a little um, hydraulic operated, and bring it out on front of the RV and dangle in here somewhere, and we can still do the science and we can do some amazing media. And that'll give us a really great yes, yeah. picture of For Chimera this. ROV as well. Yeah. But it's actually then also give, gets a video of the terrain of the area that we're working in, so, so hopefully that will work. What I thought is obviously we need to get it in a housing that is uh, water uh, proof. Our manufacturer of the um, ROV actually makes these jam jars but with two open ends so and it, the camera actually fits in there quite nicely like I hopefully can do something with this it won't be 6,000 meter rated yet but for a prototype I think it's gonna be just a, trying to make another end cap that fits the end and then so we can actually prove the concept they're trying to figure out whether refraction and reflection are gonna be an issue with it in the glass housing and um, what's like the biggest challenge specifically with the ROV since it is one of our deeper diving assets? What's the biggest challenge with pulling things from off the shelf and then making them ROV ready? Keeping them dry. <laughs> that's, so that's the, main, it's the biggest main challenge with our job yes, all around. Keep, keeping them dry and keeping them from crushing. I guess it, uh, the, um, the depth obviously is a big issue, like a 600 bar at 6,000 meters. Um, yeah, so that's, a, that's a, basically the main challenge. So far, Olaf's prototypes look promising, but it'll take a little more time in engineering to make it deep sea ready. In the meantime, here are some early tests we ran in the UAE with just the standard underwater housing to see how much we could push the limits. Our end goal? To bring you an incredible 360 view at actual depth while we're doing science. Stay tuned to future on missions to see if we pull it off. Now that we've explored how we innovate in the deep, let's take you to the labs on the surface. Let's go meet Val, the wizard of all things tech. She fixes networks, wiring, 3D prints parts for science equipment, and today she's going to show us how we preserve samples while out at sea. Why do we have this big honking machine in our lab? This machine is basically separating nitrogen out of the air we breathe and compressing it into its liquid form and storing it in a tank internally that we can dispense as needed. Saves us space, time, and money. Awesome. When nitrogen, naturally a gas, is cooled to minus 320 Fahrenheit or minus 196 Celsius, it turns to liquid. The unique, extremely low temperature of liquid nitrogen makes it perfect for keeping samples from deteriorating while out at sea. So the first thing we need is a container. So we'll just insert this in here. The next step is gonna to be to open the dispensing valve all the way. And then we press the dispense button until our uh, one liter flask is full. That fog you see is the liquid boiling off rapidly at room temperature. Okay, so once we are full, now we can remove this. Because the liquid nitrogen evaporates at room temperature, or boils at room temperature, we don't want to seal this container or it'll explode as the pressure builds. Liquid nitrogen expands approximately 750 times from a liquid form into a gas form. So very quickly this will explode if we were to seal the container. So we want a lid that does not seal completely. So now that we've made our liquid nitrogen, it's time to show you how we use it in the lab. We have our sample, and then we're gonna stick it in the liquid nitrogen, let it boil on. I would say that's probably frozen. All right, we have our frozen sample ready to go. Now, we'll put these samples in our minus 80 degree freezer, where they'll stay preserved until they're ready to be transported off the ship. Cool. And that's how we freeze science samples while we're out to sea. Innovating never stops here on Ocean Explorer. Let us know what cool ship tech you want to hear about next, 
Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.